Hello. We're finishing the Lego today. Hi. Hydrate, posture check. Jesus, woman. Oh, wow. Okay. That is still going. I forgot to mute my phone. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, hydrate, posture check. Hydrate, posture check. Woman. I'm going to refund you two of those each. <laughs> Posture check. There we go. Hydrate. Oh. My water bottle isn't in book two. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we start out. Oh, I opened bag six. This is not bag five. <laughs> Please hold. You know, I was like all confident in preparation and fast, like, this is gonna be a great stream, nothing's gonna go wrong. <laughs> I mean, nothing's gone wrong yet. <sighs> oh, that's all the way. I'm like, you know, super confident having the orange stuff out, and it's like, why is there a white pea? <laughs> why you gotta be white? Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so wait. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't run away. Here we go. Bag five is going to be poured out. So that's going to be loud, so I'm going to mute again. And since you don't hear the music, I'm very sorry about that. Uh, imagine we're playing Black and White by Niall Horn. Neil Horn? Did you miss me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bag five. So I think this is one from six. So keep in mind that we have that over here. Maybe also here. Awesome. We're listening to Red by Daniel Merriweather. Anybody wants to, you know, make a playlist? Um, nope. You. Should we sort by color again, like every time? Wait, I need to. Ah, don't go away. Um. Here she goes. 
little roots. These? Yeah. Yeah, that should do. Four roofs. Go on here. Wait. Oh. Oops. Should be the active window if you want to interact with it. Two more. Okay. So this is my last free Thursday where I can do whatever the fuck I want. And um, I'm spending it with you guys. <clears throat> 103. Turn around. Why? No, that doesn't work. It has to have up. Yeah, okay. It has to have opposite thingies. So we like that. So turn it around again. Grab a um, gray thingy with a hole. Mm hmm. This goes over here. Like so. And then a large flat thingy under thingy. Twice. 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 Okay, we have to make this twice. Song for Zula. Phosphorus and I once listened to that song, like, maybe 40 times in a row, give or take. This does things to me, so this is like five, six. Mm -hmm. I missed physical therapy yesterday, I was pretty bummed. Um, I was sick the night before, I wasn't feeling well, I couldn't see, stomach ache and all that stuff. And so I had to call him at 4 a.m. Of course, I left a voice message being like, hey, can you have my 820 appointment? And I don't know, like, what the rule is, if I can make up for that. Or not. But yeah, so I missed it. Sucks. Because the day before, I was like, hey. I, we have um, sessions back to back. Can we like go easy today? Because tomorrow um, we can do like something more dense. And he's like, yeah, we can. And so you took it easy on me, and I really enjoyed that. And the following day, I'm not. <sighs> and the following day, I didn't go. Okay, so we have these white thingies now, and they go, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, beep, 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 on these, oops, you can't see shit, on these black, 
uh, thingies. Oh. And how are you? How's life? I know you've been well traveling. Um Okay. We need a white small thingy. This goes here. Uh, see. The lever looking thingy goes here. I'm assuming it's supposed to be an antenna thing. We very tired. Yeah, I can imagine. <clears throat> White. Square handlebar thingy. This thingy and two of those. Well, I'm glad you're here spending time with me. Maybe that helps a little bit. Um, I can tell you a fun fact about the ISS. Um, basically, the, um, I don't know if you watched the last stream. 24 hours and 80, 48 hours driving, that's disgusting. <sighs> Sorry, buddy. It's just the worst. Um, so, have you ever heard of cold welding? So, in space, because it is so cold out, if you have two metals that are similar in, to each other in their composition, and they are clean, which they should be on the ISS, and they touch, they will be welding together and become one, and you cannot get them back out, uh, like, you cannot split them again so if you have like a wrench or anything and you touch any part of the iss outside that is of a similar metal as the um as the wrench or tool you're using you're fucked <laughs> and i think that's just bonkers but that's a fun fact Um, so we got this part. Funny handle looking thing. Dish thing. Pokey thing. Pokey through dish through handle. We're now listening to A Safe Place to Land by Sarah Borales and John Ledger. We need three of these, which are over in this right corner. Um, we need one of these and one of these. And then we find out where the fuck they go. Here and there. Yes. So this one faces like so. This one like that. The other one faces differently.
we we have a white circly thing, a gray thingy like that. Um, this a white rod and a gray thingy that looks like the top of a can, circular, like so. <clears throat> so the ISS goes 17,000 miles an hour around Earth. So it's like super fast round trip, right? And I think it's hilarious that in 90 minutes, they see a sunset every 90 minutes and in between the sunrise. Would you go bonkers? Because I find it interesting. So if you, let's say you're on a um, eight hour spacewalk and um, you have to like live and lower your visor constantly because of the sun. Where the fuck did it go? Oh, goodbye. It's bonkers. And temperature changes every time. Mm -hmm. We got it. This thingy. That thingy. Rounder thingy. Oopsies, where do you want to go? Like, what the hell? Very nice. Um, this on that and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I have to put on different music. Y'all can't hear it anyways. Might as well. <laughs> Goes underneath here. Jesus fuck. You know, I had to stop working on my Mars rover because of my shoulder. And now I'm doing this, which is also a lot of twisting, turning, and pushing and stuff. <sighs> this again. Switch hands. Okay, this part, that part, this, that, this one, this one, this one, the dish thingy. Yeah. Okay. Am I 
Imagine we had music. I know I'm getting back to that all the time, but it's so frustrating. In my opinion. So you know how I said last time that my, be careful when the one-year-old nephew shows up and, you know, hangs out, um, how he might <clears throat> be a problem when it comes to Lego. I called my sister, I think yesterday, for whatever reason. I don't know why they don't show it from the bottom. I don't know why the place is. Like this? Looks right. And I was like, shit, when he comes here, because I totally forgot he exists in terms of I have to worry about Lego. It was more like late, more more the big the, 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 the his brother that I was worried about. Um so I call my sister, he grabs the phone and puts me in the laundry basket. <laughs> Like, okay, cool. <laughs> you need pie. I love him very much. And his, so in Germany's land, you do carnival or whatever you want to call it, at like end of January, beginning of February or something. I don't know. Um, and uh, so my sister got him a costume. It's a giraffe. I cannot wait to see him in it. She only showed me like having bought it, not him wearing it. And she's like, I'm so bummed. He can only wear it like once in kindergarten. And my mom was like, how about you send him to kindergarten in that outfit for an entire week. <laughs> the only thing that I find difficult for that is, don't they have to like change diapers and things? So I don't know if that's going to be kind to the kindergarten teachers. If they have to like, if that's a difficult thing to take off twice. And then goofy hand looking things three times. And one nipple. <laughs> okay, hands of both ends. Uh walking stick gets held also gets a hand and then gets attached to the nipple like so hold up like so where do you go is this the canada arm nice so the canada arm canada arm <laughs> uh is a very fascinating um device if that's or is this the canada arm or is it the one uh hydrate thank you so i don't know if this is the canada arm or if this is the holding thingy because the astronauts have a thing uh attached to the um ISS that allows them to have a footrest they can attach to and then more or less move around more freely. So, but this might be the cannon arm. Let's see. Yeah, the cannon arm, if that is the one, it was, you know, made in Canada, which is why it's called that. <laughs> oh, Canada. 
I used to live there. <laughs> um, and uh, two, four, six, eight, twelve. That's the one. Uh, yeah, and the funny thing is, uh, you can only move like it's like a crane arm, like it has um joints and things, and uh, you can move it and like haul around um, uh, loads and things. The interesting thing though is like the hydraulics in it, the weight of itself, if it's on Earth where you know regular gravity is happening, it would not be able to move because the hydraulics hydraulics cannot move its own weight. But in space, it can move so many things. Like when you try to capture the uh, Hubble telescope, for example, they do that. No way, they would never capture the Hubble telescope with, they did that with the space shuttle. Don't mind me. <laughs> but I guess they could if they wanted to. We should ask NASA about that. Um, okay, we did this. The lantern looking thing. One, two, three, four. Two weird sticks. Torches. Those are torches. <laughs> and these are lanterns. <laughs> Not really. Um, four of them. Oh, wait. So they put them on first. I see. We're listening to slow song. Dragon X. Can listen to that song all day. Did you know that for the first time they have a Turkish person in space right now? That's so dope. Garden fans, look how cute this is. Me two of them. And a thingy with two holes. The two holes go here on the garden fence, left and right of it. Very nice. Two more holies. Two blue stickies. There you go. Isn't it like, what do you mean you haven't slept yet? Isn't it like 7 or almost 8 a.m. for you? Something like that. That's the worst. It only just now registered what time it is for you. Unless you're already asleep, Jen, and I didn't ask a question. These two gray ones and two white. Look, even is now okay. Listening to Stick Season by Noah Kane. Time. Very good song. Okay, more white stuff. Uh, flat thingies, two of them. Dogs are barking. I'm not gonna check on them. Those are tucked away, and I think uh, my house made it home, so. No, we only need one. In each night of some version of you that I might not have, but I. Did not lose you. That my brother that's cute. Because the dog only loses his mind like this when my brother goes away.
he's still barking i checked the apartment nothing's wrong so don't know what's going on so we just did number 124 now we do 25 which is a gray thingy two of these white ones that are upside down and they go attached to the gray things here oopsies Oopsies, that was out of frame. He's really not relaxing. What the fuck is wrong with that dog sometimes? My mom loves him, but I'm like a bit on a... But you don't have to get along with everyone, right? I don't hate dogs. It's just not my dog. I didn't pick him. I didn't... I haven't known him longer than like a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so by the time you unwind it's one or two a.m and now it's like what seven for you so it takes you five hours to fall asleep it's like... he's still barking i don't know if you guys can hear that uh we're listening to black hole by griff g-r-i-f-f -F. Two more lanterns. <clears throat> Gray stick. Nine. It's almost nine. Okay. It's very hard to keep track of all the um, time zones that my friends are in. I'm fairly good at it, but not always. Oh. Very nice. Wow, he's really still barking. Jesus Christ. Almost like a car. We have morning calls at seven. Yikes. Well, if you work nights, you shouldn't be have to be in the morning call. I have to do it twice? Oh my god, and I have to do the same thing again. Did they get so I have to go back for the instructions? Oh, it says twice there. Why didn't I do it right away? Well, here we go again. <laughs> I could have worked parallel. <laughs> that happens when you work and talk at the same time. <laughs> oh my god, he's still barking. He's a chihuahua, so there's no point in me trying to calm him down. Like, he just doesn't. There's no yelling no uh whispering no i don't know anything you can do it's not you who distracted it's the dog pancake by jaded and ashnikov it's a very sexual song <laughs> Is that what we needed to do? Yes. I have to send my, my mom a message being like, go, come home, the dog is freaking out. Bye. Still barking. <laughs> I don't know if he's like in some sort of tunnel focus vision thingy for barking. Like if there's like some sort of 
thing that dogs can do where it just get lost in the barking and there's no getting out of it. I think with my mom's dog, no offense, they kind of made me not want to have pets again. Because, so, I didn't pick him, right? And, um, and I sometimes I'm like, if she's not feeling well, of course I'm not going to not help. But I'm like, I don't want to be forced to go out in all weathers and stuff. Like, I think I would only have a dog again if I had, like, a backyard or something. That when I have a bad day, they still can go and have a good time. And, of course, you know, you buy a poop scooper and you're good. And a garden hose. I don't know. And I also need, like, something that doesn't bark its head off every two seconds. A little couch potato, maybe. <laughs> and I would not want to be the sole owner. <clears throat> I think I'd be into shared custody. Because then you can be like, honey, it's your turn. Or not necessarily honey, but maybe like, housemate, would you mind? <laughs> Although I do have to say, um... A while back, a long while back, I was quite depressed all the time. But I also owned guinea pigs. I know you have four dogs, you bonkers lady. I love that for you. Um, and so I guinea pigs for... Can we have an ad in five minutes? Is everybody okay with that? Oh. <gasps> Is itchy today. Uh, yeah, I had guinea pigs, and the fact that I had to get up every morning to um, feed them actually helped with the depression because you're responsible for, in my case, four little creatures that will squeak at you, and they're going to be unhappy if they live in their own poop, if they don't get fed, and all that stuff. So that kind of forces you, the responsibility for a creature forces you to, you know, deal. Which is not a reason to have pets. So like if you're depressed, don't get a cat, pet. But if you happen to have a pet and then you fall into a depression, it kind of is a little bit of a savior situation. <laughs> okay, so we have, I'm going to show you before I pop that in. Like joint thingies looks a little bit like a shoulder joint in here, and the ball thingy goes in there. Damn. Oh shit. Not going in. It isn't. Why does this one require so much force and the other one didn't? Where this did this come off? Hey. Oh man. That's Chanel for you. You will get in my face and wake me up. Yeah. And then they're staying your face, right? And it's, I mean, I didn't sleep in the same room as the guinea pigs, of course. That's unhealthy. Um, but you can he could hear them from my then, like, bedroom. Because they were, like, 
living in a in a I build a pen that was basically imagine a bunk bed, but the top bed is very low, closer to the bottom. And so I built that myself and I put them in there and that was in an alcove in a living room and a living room usually had the door open and it was around a corner from my tiny, tiny bedroom. So yeah, that's where they live. Then I could hear them squeak. I'm like, oh God, I need to be fed. Okay, cool. So we plug those in. We turn them a little bit. Okay, I can do that. And we use four of these. One, two, three, four. Cuddle bug. Oh, that's sweet. Wait. Okay, face away from the... Nope. Hold up. Please hold. Please hold. Um, confusion. Wait, hold up. The whole turn. There she goes. I know what I'm doing. I'm totally making a frame there. That thing is just too big. It's I don't know how we're gonna deal with the with the um space shuttle that we're building. Like that helps a little bit. Um yes, we attach those. Arm thingy. You all ever watched um I think we're running an ad right now. Have you all ever watched the spacewalk or spacewalk? You get like the helm camera, you get like this person who um then I don't know if you have. I'm gonna wait until I can. By the way, the dog stopped barking. Crazy universe. Don't worry. So I enjoy watching spacewalks because you so first of all the nasa people like the person who narrates what's happening she has the most pleasant way of talking that's just awesome and then <clears throat> uh like the conversation between um houston and the iss is just so cool when they're like hey uh you can turn this screw with this much power, uh, this many times, and stuff like that. It's just very fascinating, in my opinion. Oh my god, bag six. Let's put the spare parts away in the spare parts bag. This is um, all the things we have from previous um, <coughs> parts of the um, ISS building process. <coughs> Okay, water is empty. Um, yeah, bag six. So this is what we're working with right now. Fuck, it's gorgeous. I'm going to put a picture on Twitter. And my Twitter handle is suzfragile, which you can see this in the chat. 
um, YouTube. I think you can find my Twitter handle on my about page on YouTube. Fairly-ish certain. Okay, so now we actually do pack six. <laughs> oh, it's loud. Hold up. I think I got a little bit confused because look at this. How many of these will there be? Like Jesus fucking. <sighs> um, I think I got a little bit confused about back five and six because I knew that six has a small one, and somehow my brain registered. Oh yeah, bag six is still sitting there on the box, like on the surface. Uh, this has to be five, so I opened it. Hopefully, Dokley. <sighs> that, no, that's not this piece. Is it this piece? Yes. And the black thingy. Nice. And then we need length number 11. Sometimes they have a number on them. They, are they all the same length? Just to check. Because then I don't have to worry. Yes. So. This thingy. And. See. That goes in there. Some stuff they leave to interpretation. Like, I am quite, like, I needed a moment to realize that I put the small gray, darker gray thingy on here. And I'm like, so how did they get that T thing? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm plugging that on. I can't see the black anymore. So. White. Yeah. Wait, do I have to do this several times? Eight times. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, bitches. Oops, I said a bad word. This content is not made for children. We'll listen to Say You Won't Let Go by Mari and Mari, comma, trick, dot. As in, period. Oh my god, if I plug in another thingy here and make it red, it's Kylo Ren's uh, sword. Lightsaber, not sword. Three. Oh my god, we're gonna be here all day. Three. Trying to think of more ISS facts. Because of the fluid distribution in your body changing in microgravity, most folks can't, uh, like, it's like you have a, a constant sinus congestion. That's why the fluid is still is bland up there. That's a fun fact. Um, uh, 
and there was this documentary about I forgot his name. This is one astronaut who has a twin who's not an astronaut. So uh, the astronaut's twin was up in space for a year. And the twin not in space stayed. <laughs> and both of them were up for a comparison study. Like how stuff influence, like space influences, or long-term space influences the body and stuff like that. Quite interesting. I watched it. Um. In the movie theater, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're halfway there. We're not. We're like a fourth there. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god, I can math. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, that's an interesting document. I can recommend that, uh, especially because it also gives you some insight into what it's like to launch out of Kazakhstan, because as you know, after the uh, space shuttle um, catastrophe, disaster. Um, they stopped using the space shuttles uh, and have to rely on the Soyuz, uh, the Russian Soyuz, which flies out of Kazakhstan, which apparently they have the best weather for it. <laughs> um, yeah, and so there's like this isolation period. Or was that a movie I watched about a French astronaut? I don't know. Fascinating film. I mean, I remember the facts about it. I don't remember where I watched what and why. So we have eight little Have you ever seen Xena, Warrior Princess? <clears throat> or The Passion of Christ? <laughs> <coughs> Um, three thingies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, very nice, and yellow. This is one scene in Xena, um, isn't When Fates Collide? I forgot. Um, no, it's not. Oh, God, such a good show. 134 episodes worth all of them watching, except for the finale, because that's just... You cannot have 132 episodes. That's about redemption and love and family and, you know, doing better despite having a horrible past. And then you fuck it all up. Pardon the French. Just my take. Anyway, these. Also, I think the Americans can watch it now for free on some streaming site. Forgot which one. Not that anybody watching this <laughs> about the ISS cares about Xena Warrior Princess, but I do have the DVD set. Is it visible? No. It is. Oh, I have I have some of them still in the garage. Yeah, my room is so small. I didn't bring up all of them from the garage. Okay, so I will almost skip ahead. Uh, these things. One, two, three. So if that says one, we need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're listening to Wizard of Bushwick by the Knox and Sir Sly. And that's um New York, right? The borough in New York, part of the city. Um, I don't watch uh, Hercules with um, what's his face because he's a terrible person and also never like I watched it in the beginning but once Cena came on uh, it fell away like honestly was not no longer interested which is funny
Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whew. Almost pooped my pants there for scared. Okay, that goes on to the yellow part. Parallel. We can do that. Oh yeah, I remember um Dina and the Hercules um running on TV back to back. I don't know if it was Saturday or not. One, two, three, four. Sinbad. Oh my god, I haven't thought of that show in like a century. Holy shit, yeah. I remember that. Okay, so we just made the first. Um, These are the solar wind sail thingies. The autofocus really that bad? I mean, you're the audience, you gotta tell me. Let me do that a couple more times. So I've decided that until I figure out the audio settings, I will only play it stream games, not um, Lego, because I cannot stand the idea that it's silent, why I don't talk and focus on something. Um, also, I'm a little bit worried actually for tomorrow because I'm going to stream with Hi. And if she's okay with it, we're also going to like, you know, share our conversation. But what if the audio from Discord doesn't? going to OBS just like my music just isn't going in. So that would be a bummer. Then maybe you just have a game, no commentary. Which is also not bad. Like it'd be fun to watch. As long as the game audio is there. <laughs> Imagine a wannabe healer and a DPS running around getting mounts and things, and it's just absolute silence. Everybody check their mute buttons. I mean, I don't mind the autofocus. I'm asking you as the audience if you if it bothers you, because I thought it would be nice if the adjusts when I hold something closer to the screen. But if you say, hey, it keeps constantly going in and out, and I'm gonna look into it. Mm -hmm. Well, I know how to do it. But if I do that, 
I'll show you. Excuse me. Just over. If I take the autofocus out, okay, then can you still see things properly? Because this is the sweet spot, like this height, give or take. This is speed spot for. Oops, I bit my own lip. Um, to, for be for things to be detailed, like visible. You scream at autofocus. But you see what I mean? Like, how am I supposed to show you detail if it doesn't adjust? <laughs> but yeah, this, this is about... And it, the funny thing is, so I tried it out. I lowered the cam so it's actually like in my face. And still the sweet spot was here. And then I tried like run, uh, using the... Um, um, I tried using the... where I set the uh, focus, where I can like, you know, enter uh, um, uh, a value and um, it wouldn't, it, 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 it couldn't find a spot. It was either blurry or blurry. <laughs> so. Okay. This is not a good activity for my shoulder, to be honest. This whole reaching over here and pulling this, pushing this in. Let's just check if I can. Mm -hmm. you want to go into close up just turn it back on yeah but then you have to click on the thing on the properties figure a video choose the tab with camera control and go back in that's a lot of work <laughs> Sorry if your editor uh, instincts are screaming at you. Two, four, five, three more. No, but I like your I like your um, unpacking streams. I watched the one with the. Um, Zelda switch that was cool very gorgeous um uh device you trying to set up a button for it I mean there must be um a key bind or what's it called a macro for it. That would make sense. Be like, autofocus on, autofocus off. I mean, there's all sorts of plugins for things. Why not that? The only thing that bums me out, before I got the um, video camera that you suggested, I got a different one that's like half the price, less than. And it makes decent videos. And I thought it would be cool to have a side shot, like, you see this area here where I rarely do anything. What if there was a camera with a side shot where you could see, like, you know, what I'm working on in this direction, like facing this way. Um, however, the USB, um, both of the cameras are USB devices and um, the computer sees them as one signal. So one of them is always black if you have both plugged in. Um, I'm going to my computer store uh, next week, probably Friday, maybe. 
and talk to them about getting a PCI thingy for my computer that um, is just USBs because I'm already running out of space and I was wondering if this goes through a PCI, one of them, will it then show up in the USB as a different signal and not be the same? But I don't know enough about it. Mm hmm. More unboxings. Very nice. I usually put stuff on like that um, while I'm working. But I have been unemployed since the end of October, so I'm a little bit behind on all those vid videos. This song is called Lifetime by Romy. I can absolutely recommend it. It's so good. So my mom had a dentist appointment today. So she worked a bit from home and she went to a dentist appointment and then uh, went into the office to finish working there. Funnily enough, um, I was like, oh, can you drop me off at the um, train station? Because so for this weekend, I actually bought a train ticket um, to go to a city where they do spas and stuff. I had to cancel the spa trip for reasons. But I had a train ticket that you, is not non-refundable. So I was sitting on that train ticket that's worth 80 plus euros. And I'm like, great. You can't even sell it to anyone because it's in my name. And uh, luckily for me, currently all the train conductors are on strike. So Deutsche Bahn, you know, the official railway thingy in Germany's land, was like, oh yeah, so anybody who cannot go on their trip this weekend due to the strike and get a full refund and I'm like <laughs> so I'm a lucky bastard where the strike is actually working out for me I didn't I couldn't go on a trip anyways <laughs> and that's just too funny okay we're missing a piece me sideways okay we'll find it How about this one? Found someone. <laughs> yeah, so good thing they're striking, I guess. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so I went to the to the place to do that. That was really neat. Um, so I asked her, "Can you drop me off at the uh, train station so I can like deal with this?" And she's like, "Yeah, sure." And then it turned out she took her too much time. Oh shit. She took too much time um, with uh, getting ready for the dentist. You know, she brushed her teeth first. Um, yeah, the space is that way. The space is this way. Uh, and she was like, I'm in a rush now, I'm in a rush now. And I was like, okay, don't drop me off. Go to the dentist. Can I find a parking spot and then maybe drop off the keys for you or something? I don't know. And she's like, okay, cool. Um, I did find a spot and I was like, okay, cool. But then it turned out it was a no parking. It's just that everybody was parking there that I thought it was parking. And I had a good spot. And I was like, mm. what the fuck is this stability? Like non-existent. Like the whole thing is just held together by... Like, you cannot attach a whole... Okay, watch this. This goes in here. Right? Hold up. This is heavy as fuck. Because it's like these 
thing, the long ones, and then has a touch attachment on top of it and stuff. And then how is it supposed to hold? Just this one spot, just this one spot goes here. And that's it. That's no stability whatsoever. Did I miss something? I might miss, must have missed a part, right? Like, what the fuck? Okay, wait, hold up. This looks different. This has a thingy on top. This one doesn't. I was about to complain about this piece, like... Okay, so, my fault. I'm... It's my fault. It's right here. <clears throat> Apologies to Lego and everybody else. <laughs> I overreacted. Or did I? Wait, that's not right. It was like a whole situation. Okay, 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 okay. Whew. Rent over. We're good. We're good. <laughs> hmm. I'm on the big screen, as in. At home? Your home? Wait, wait, I can make it worse. Where is it? <laughs> My mod does that sometimes, puts me on her TV, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, not today. <laughs> We're listening to Barracuda by Heart. Very good song. I used to be able to like play this very well on um, rock band. I have tension on here. I don't know why. Why is this not working? I want to try something. Barracuda. Ah. Is it working? Yes. And the alerts are not playing. I want you to be able uh, to use my emote. This one. <laughs> Which is why I did that just now. Okay, uh, for everybody on YouTube, I just give the, the sub to my friend. I think, friends, um, is this it? Are we done? Did this? Okay, 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 okay. So we attach those like so. All of them are there. Ooh. 
the thingies. Okay, this one. I cannot tell where the fuck it goes. Does it go there? Looks like it, right? But okay, hold on with that one. We're gonna just place this one down here. Um, this capital thingy is here. How do I attach that? Hold up. Where do you go? Just go here. It does. Okay, we got it. We got it. <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. Is that it? Oh, that's just cute. Wait, I have three astronauts. Where does the third one go? <gasps> We're done. Okay, I'm going to put it here as well. Y'all. We are done with the ISS. Hold up, I'm gonna try and figure out. Hmm, that's cool. <laughs> you can't see me anymore. Hi. This is from the top. Let's see where I can turn it. Can I just. See, and this is where the other camera would be great. So as they told us to, I put the satellite there, the astronaut here, and this is the space shuttle. Very, very awesome. I'm going to put a picture on, on Twitter. I love it. Hold up. And look at this. It helps a little bit. This mother effort is huge. Hold on. We are talking 52 centimeters in length, like from one end to the other. If you keep it tilted like this, like the, um, the height is 27 and the depth, like eyeball this one, about 28 centimeters. She's a big one. I love her. Mm -mm -mm. We have the ISS finished after years. Remember buying it? I'm promising you guys to build it, to build it. And we moved continents we had technical issues also this desk is just fucking tiny um the bit previous one was like 40 centimeters more i had three screens and so much more space to space <laughs> so much more space to just like do things and um yeah but we adapt we adjust we can get shit, shit done so yes that was the iss um 
that was a theme for the ISS. Uh, for three, I'll upload this onto the YouTubes. Um, thank you, Jen, for hanging out, for letting me hang out on your TV. Um, anything else? Yeah, tomorrow, new world stream. Um, audio issues not withstanding. And then, uh, that'll be sooner though, like in the morning, like maybe. I have physical therapy at 8.20, and it's, I have to take the bus, so I won't be back until like 9.30ish, and I'll have breakfast. So 10, which would be 15 and a half, five and a half hours ago, but tomorrow <laughs> is when we're streaming New Worlds together. Uh, I switched to be, being a healer. Let's switch to intermission. Um... <laughs> I switched to being a healer in the game and I'm learning still and it's a lot of fun and it's great if you can do that in a group because there's no not much point running around as a healer if you have to do quests and things. Um check out Twitter and YouTube and stuff for all the cool things. Uh my mod and I eventually will finish it takes two, especially if I get the proper treatment for my shoulder on Monday. Things are gonna be better. And then I start my job Thursday. That'll uh switch streaming to only on the weekends. Or maybe like late at night if I can't sleep. Thanks for hanging out.